you saw our last video, you know what happened to the trailer. We're going to get that fixed, but in the meantime, we have a trip planned out west for a month, and we're going to move into our Jeep. We're also going to have a giveaway, so subscribe, and we'll fill you in on the details towards the end of this video. So we have a 2018 Jeep JK. Uh, we bought this as a conversion by American Fastbacks. Right off the showroom floor, they took it in and did some conversion work I'll, I'll get to in a minute. But it has a 3-inch lift kit and 35-inch tires. And we just last week put on a TerraFlex Monster Track Bar and the heavy duty drag link because once you lift a Jeep you always have some steering issues so we got that all fixed ready for the trip uh, we got a super winch up front 12,000 pounds should we need that and a rigid light bar for our nighttime driving off-road uh, on the roof uh, I built the roof rack. It is unistrut material mounted to the roll bar from the inside and some aluminum runners along the outside. And we're going to install the ARB awning onto that roof rack. And then up top I have a Nanook hard rifle case. Uh, it's mounted to the Unistrut and it comes off in a matter of seconds so we can lift that down if we need to. Uh, typically I store my sleeping bag and some extra clothes, recovery gear up there. Uh, we got the heavy duty tailgate hinges and we're going to mount an extra cargo basket on the back here we're going to put another case up on top and we have a water storage solution we're working on inside I've got the shovel already mounted on the roll bar, I've got mosquito netting so we can roll down and, and leave the back window open for ventilation. I'll go around the side here and show you how we're going to sleep. So my wife and I are not exactly tall people. Uh, we're 5'6 and about 5'8. So we can sleep comfortably in the back of the Jeep. We're also not young so a rooftop tent is not an ideal solution for us climbing up and down in the middle of the night gets uh, real old after the second trip so part of the american fastbacks conversion was the mattresses here they just fold up when the back seat is up they fold up against this platform that i built and we can sleep comfortably in here we lay out the sleeping bags get a couple of pillows and we've got uh, about three or four inches of extra space so our legs go underneath the platform and our heads up on this upper end makes for a nice little incline we have some ventilation screens that fit into the window so we have plenty of air circulation during the night I'll take you around back here and show you the platform. So it's built out of 80-20. Two pieces sit on top of the roof ledge. The one in the back I had to cut and splice because you can't fit it in with the roll bar. There's just not enough angle to fit it in. But it sits on both sides. And then I just got a sheet of 20 gauge sheet metal that I bent 
and attach to that. Then I've got my toolbox. I use the old Milwaukee and one button you can pull the whole thing off. I'll show you later how I have that set up. Here's our wire mesh window screens. I made them out of a industrial grade of about one an inch or inch and a quarter square wire mesh with the mosquito netting over top. They just slide right into the window frame, put the window up and they hold in place. Here's a better look at the roof rack. Uh, it's unistrut material, powder coated. And then I've got eyelets and some hooks strategically placed to hold things in on the roof rack. Like this box, it's held on with an eyelet going through the unistrut material. And all we have to do is slide this latch back and we can take the whole box right off. We have the roof nest mesh compartment up above on the roll cage and that's where we store the majority of our clothes as we travel. Just unhook here, you can slide everything in. It's easy to get to, holds it up in place well. And I've also installed a USB series of outlets. You can never have enough of those uh, if you do any film work or just traveling. All the phones and accessories need extra space. So we added one in the back. I've also added some USB chargers and 12 volt sockets in front of the shifters. I made some additional storage above the cockpit. Uh, it's three aluminum bars, so it's set up kind of like a molly panel. And over here we have three pipe clamps and a piece of aluminum that joins it together, uh, circles around the roll bar and bolts through. And then we attach all these molly bags. So we have storage for sunglasses, camera lenses, flashlights, knives, any of the stuff you want to keep handy. For additional power, we carry a battery backup system. It has 15 volt solar input for a little bit of charging capability. It can also be charged from the car battery. It has a 12 volt output. It has four USB charging ports and two AC outlets. It comes with a variety of charging cords, including some clamps. You can connect it right to your battery if you needed. To hold the Milwaukee pack out boxes on the rear platform, I cut some tabs out of aluminum are about inch and a half square I placed four of them I put spacers underneath and bolts down through to connect them to the platform and they slide into these slots on the bottom of the pack out boxes from here to here so there's four of them that holds it secure. And then the latch is a piece of angle aluminum that I cut down to fit the right height. And that fits for the latch. And I'll show you how that latch is in nice and secure. So the Milwaukee pack out toolbox set up here. Slide it back, drop the latch, and it's 
secure. And then I add the camp box, which is all our normal camp gear, flashlights and fire starters and so forth. Click right on top. Our cassette toilet, which the wife insists on having, slides underneath on this side. And we use the Yeti cooler, which slides up here. Our kitchen set is contained in this Nanook 955 case. It fits everything that we need. They also make a 968, which is a little bit wider. I'll put a link in the description for these Nanook cases if you're interested. I'm not going to show you everything that's in here, but I'll give you the highlights so you have an idea of what fits in this size case. The latches are really nice. They have this, this claw hook and a button to release it. So there's four latches. And we carry the Genesis Cook Kit from Jetboil, the GSI Cook Kit, we have the propane tanks, uh, we've got garbage bags, storage bags, these are all our spices, uh, various bowls, uh, we have the Jetboil coffee kit spatulas, spoons, basically everything that you need to cook without getting too fancy. And then we carry our food in a separate box. Uh, if it doesn't fit in our cooler, then we keep it in a box on the back seat. Our kitchen box goes on the bottom left hand side. And most importantly, the first aid kit should always be easily accessible. And we'll put in our table. Close that. To handle our water requirements, I made a 10 gallon hot water shower heater. And it is a 10 gallon tank uh, that I painted black. I left a piece of tape here when I painted it so it indicates the water level and then I made a metal housing out of a piece of sheet metal I had laying around mounted a 12 volt 5 amp pump to it and screwed it into the top of the tank so there's no leakage and then a rubber flap just over top uh, when we store the tank, the 12 volt connector slides down in here and we just flip that over for storage. This is the water fill level, uh, just screw that off and we fill it with water. I installed a pressure valve which I found that I don't need. Um, with the pump, it's, it's gravity fed from the bottom to the pump and then through the hose. This is just a 12 volt cigarette style electrical connection. And the wand has a spray nozzle, which is adjustable. And then I have a variety of other spray nozzles we can fit on here. Uh, so the tank will get mounted on top of the Jeep in the center. And then this wand will go over the passenger side into the shower, which I'll show you. Or out the back to the kitchen area where we can use it to wash dishes. And this has been sitting in the sun for probably about three hours. I don't have a temperature gauge, but I would say this water is maybe 120, 125 degrees. Uh, should be comfortable for taking a shower and, 
and hot enough to wash dishes. When I built this roof rack, I designed it with these two holes, one here and one in the back, so that we could hang a shower rod in here. So this shower rod pushes all the way in underneath the boxes alongside the unistrut material. And when we get to camp, we pull this out and just connect our shower curtain. Uh, we are Sunrise Mission, and my wife is not here right now, but she will be joining me on the trip. We are moving into our Jeep, and we're going to travel across the United States. We look forward to visiting small towns, discovering historical places, uh, museums, backcountry roads, uh, mountains, lakes, rivers, streams, uh, and we want to do some mountain biking, kayaking, some hiking, and we want to bring that to you, our audience. Uh, please subscribe if you have an interest in following us. We are going to have a giveaway. I'll get to the details in a minute. Uh, on this trip, we're going to post our itinerary on the Thatch app. The Thatch app is a traveler's platform. So if you're interested in traveling or you want to see unique places, you want to discover things to do, places to eat, places to stay, we will be putting all that on our Thatch app. I'll put the link in the description for the Thatch app so you can get signed up. The giveaway is this case filled with $500 worth of Overland gear, travel gear, electronics, souvenirs from our trip, and a variety of merchandise. Step number one, subscribe to Sunrise Mission on YouTube. Step number two, leave a comment of your favorite modification we've done in the comment section below. And step number three is sign up to Sunrise Mission on the Thatch app. I'll put the link in the description along with the instructions. If we reach a thousand subscribers by the time we get back from our trip, we'll put a thousand dollars worth of merchandise and gear in this box and the winner will be drawn near the end of September and they'll get thousand dollars prizes and the box. So please share. We appreciate your likes, your nice comments. So get signed up.